Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Derry and this is Dr. Derry's Diary. I hope everyone had a great New Year, a great Christmas and everything like that. I had a great Christmas and I had a good New Year's. I went to my friend's um, birthday slash New Year's Eve party for a little bit and then I made it home in time enough to give my baby a New Year's kiss. So I will show you all pictures because I, I thought I was cute. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was cute. <laughs> And I got my braces off. So yes, I got new year, new teeth, okay? <laughs> so next, the next process with my teeth will be whitening. Um, I have gotten whitening strips, so that's gonna be next on my list of things to do with my smile. But anyways, let's get to the important stuff. We paid off our four loans, so we met our goal. Our goal was to pay off loan one, two, three, and four by January 1st, and I'm so happy to say that we did it. The goal was really to be done by January, by the end of January, but we made it at the beginning of January. So I'm super excited, super stoked, and I really didn't have to cut back on any of my other bills. Um, in my November um, video, I said that I was not going to pay my student loan in the month of December and January to make sure that I paid my car off by January, but I actually did not have to do that. I did pay my 500 in my student loan in December. Um, for the month of January, I did pay 300, but that's the only reason I paid 300 is because I'm going on a trip and I want to make sure I have enough <laughs> money for the trip. However, um, after the trip, I will go ahead and add the extra 200 to the student loan because I think, I, honestly, I have enough money to go ahead and just pay it now. I don't know why I just haven't because I got a lot of money for Christmas. I think I got at least $400 in my purse right now from Christmas money so I mean I could go ahead and just pay it so as you all know I get paid once a month at the end of the month the last day of the month so um, on December 31st I got my basic salary check and that was deposited directly into my bank account but any hours that you work over salary you get a separate check so my separate check was the one I was talking about in my last video that was gonna be twelve hundred and fifty five dollars I actually got that check on December 23rd so I went ahead and deposited it into my account. It did not post until December 26th because of the holiday, of course. And when that check posted, instead of paying half, like I had originally stated, that I was going to pay half towards my car and use half for my vacation, I went ahead and paid $746 on my car, bringing my total down to $1,000. So that was good. I sold a lot of pop sockets and I sold a lot of glasses for Christmas. So I made about $400 for my glasses and then I got 400 ish for Christmas so I, ha I had a little bit of extra money there so I'm gonna try to use most of that cash that I have from Christmas for my trip and I also have I think I have about $700 or so in my account right now I'm just chilling so when I got paid on December 31st we went ahead and paid off my car the payoff balance was $1,046 $1,046 and some change so I'm super excited that we have paid that off I no longer have a car note and yeah we can move on with our debt snowball um, I was paying a thousand dollars a month on my car so now we're just gonna use that thousand dollars to go towards my husband's student loan and honestly our goal is to pay off that loan is April and I definitely think um, I'm thinking we're either gonna we're gonna make that or we're gonna beat that this month I know we'll be able to pay about $2,200 towards his student loan and then next month we should be able to pay like $3,000 on his loan and then $3,000 in March and then whatever the payoff will be in April. So I am super excited the way our debt snowball is going right now. It's just blowing me out of the water. I'm so excited. It's exciting to pay off debt, you know. I hate debt, of course. I never like to be in debt, but it does feel good when you pay something off. So. Give us a round of applause. I'm super excited. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the budget, and I'll show you all how we will be paying extra towards my husband's student loan this month. Alrighty, let's go. So let's go ahead and get into January's budget. I can't believe it is already 2020. Alrighty, guys. So let's start with the basics, of course. Same old, same old, nothing new. Mortgage. internet i'll start with the things that don't change our internet price and our mortgage 
does not change now this month i'm doing the budget early so our bills have not come out yet so i don't know what our water or our utilities will be this month so i will estimate and at the end of the month i will just come back and write it in the notes so what was it last month last month our water was 36 and our utilities were 99 so i'm going to go with water i'm just going to put 50 for estimating and then utilities i always like to over budget on utilities because you never know i'm going to go ahead and do 140 for utilities and then my husband's grandma's cell phone okay and i'm going to go ahead and check off the mortgage because we have already paid that and then out of my account we have the land of course which um, i paid 571 and that's already paid and then my student loan like I said earlier, I only paid 300, but I probably will go ahead and go back and pay the other 200 that I normally pay. Um, I'll probably do that later on. Then we have gym, which I have 18 and 34. <laughs> then for my husband's account, we, I'll just put my, um, I'm gonna put last car note and that was $1,046 for my husband's car insurance it went down a little bit so we're just gonna put 215 because it hasn't came out yet but um, it was supposed to decrease by about 10 to $11 so we're just gonna go with 215 and I will go I will come back and you know make changes at the end of the month his truck then we have Amazon Prime sling and the gym all right so for our cash envelopes our cash envelopes pretty much stay the same we have not made really made any adjustments to our cash envelopes just because they work pretty well for us so our gas for the first half is staying at 220 our groceries are staying at 200 dog food is at 60 we might have to start increasing the dog food since we did get a new puppy but we shall see eating out is at a hundred fun money we're still doing a hundred each for the fun money and I will tell you all about the fun money more at the end but I can just go tell about it now but anyway for the fun money I do plan to start getting into competition prep again um, probably mid January so I will be using my fun money to pay for my coach so I mean I know it's not like a necessity type of thing but I do enjoy competing and it does give me like a goal to work towards so I will be picking that back up soon car maintenance 100 then we have miscellaneous which is 160 and then giving which is 150 so we normally pay my husband student loan at the beginning of the month however this time we're going to wait and put it we're gonna put it down here at the bottom because now we're gonna be able to pay a lump sum on his student loan his student loan base price is 235 but with my calculations we're gonna go ahead when he gets paid the second time of the month we're going to pay 2200 towards his student loan so that is what we're going to do when we get our second half money and then we'll do our second half cash envelopes which will gas we all we always decrease the gas in the second half just because i don't use as much gas as my husband 
groceries remains the same dog food remains the same so yeah it's pretty much the same for everything else um, we don't do the car maintenance in the second half so that kind of changes a little bit miscellaneous at sorry I'm kind of rushing writing this I don't know why giving 150 and fun money is that 200 because it's 100 each so this total for fun money is 1190 and then this total for fun money is $1,050 and then let's do the total expenses okay so our total expenses this month oh wait plus the 2200 so that'll be 651694 so i really should i guess i should have just put the regular student loan price i'm just gonna put it over here so it's normally 235.11 so 2200 minus 23.511 that would be paying extra 1964.89 so amount for our snowball my car note is like 218 so 1046 minus 218 plus 1964.89 so we're paying roughly $2,792.89 towards our debt snowball for this month so um this 2200 is like a comfortable debt snowball payment i think we probably could pay another 100 towards it maybe even another 200 towards it but right now this is just what we're going to estimate and i'll come back through when i make changes when i come back through i'll make them in pink um i need to check that because we already paid that and yeah i will come back and do the debt snowball at the end of the month because we're going to be down a debt this is our um oh that's november get the page time. so this is this is our december side showing that my car note was that amount my husband's student loan at the end of the month for december was twelve thousand two hundred forty seven dollars and forty cents so hopefully by you know paying twenty two hundred on it it'll put it right at about ten thousand and yeah we'll be on our way to paying that one off next so i'm super duper excited all righty guys so that'll be the end of this video i tried to make it kind of short and sweet because everything is pretty much the same from month to month we're kind of getting this budgeting thing we're getting good at it. we're getting better at it you know I'm, we're still not perfect with the budgeting but we're definitely getting better at it but um, make sure you come back at the end of the month to see our debt snowball update and to see where we're going to be at with paying off our next loan and reaching our next goal Thank you guys for following me. Make sure if you have any comments, tips, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below and I will definitely get back with you all. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.